everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Daunties. My name is Rochelle. I'm your favorite Donna, and guess what? This video's not all about me. No. <laughs> this video, we're going to take you on a tour of our Funko Pop collection part four. four. <laughs> so in this video, we're going to focus on our last area of our house where we have a lot of our Funko Pops on display. Hi. Yes, our fourth area. Um, and this is going to encompass our Harry Potter guest room because we have a lot of Funko Pops in there, obviously all Harry Potter, and then our media room where we have mainly our movie and TV show Pops that aren't Disney because all of our Disney Pops are here or on, or on display somewhere else. So if you miss any of our previous collection videos, I'm going to leave them at the end of this video so you can check them out. This is part four. This is our final video of our complete Funko collection. So, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> Let's go do it. Welcome to our media room. So we have quite a few Funko Pops in here. Funko products, actually. So let's just go through these one section at a time. Starting off in our media room, we have this section. I keep it as far away from the door as possible because these are all of our horror Funko Pops. Um, as you can see, there is a Frankenstein up there that is not out of box. But I believe the rest of them are out and on display in Donna's office slash game room. Um, I really like the Hannibal Lecter. I think Lurch with Thing is super cool. And of course, Beetlejuice being one of my favorites. Carrie looks really cool. Slimer. Ghostface, he's one of our most expensive Funko Pops in our collection. And yeah, just a lot of really fun and spooky Funko Pops. The next section are really movie centric. So we have the Sandlot. We have three characters from the Sandlot. Tommy Boy, Wayne's World, Back to the Future, The Devil Wears Prada, Twilight, Big Trouble in Little China, uh, Teen Wolf, sorry for the glare. Um, of course, we had to have some from the Hunger Games that we could find, and of course, Twilight. So these are just some random movies uh, that we thought would go great together in one little section like this. The next section are also movie pops, but this really started as almost like um, a nod to Tom Hanks. Because um, as you can see here, it starts with Forrest Gump. And they created quite a bit of Tom Hanks Funko Pops or from, from, from his movies. Um, so we wanted to put them together and kind of keep them separated. And then they came out with some other just classic ones that we had to have. So we have a couple from, or we have one from Back to the Future, Waterboy, Big, Jumanji, Castaway, another one from Big, A League of Their Own, and then of course, the classic Forrest Gump. Next we have our Christmas Funko Pops. So we have the Wet Bandits, and of course Kevin from Home Alone. We have uh, Disney Christmas, so we have Mickey Mouse dressed as Santa, two from the Santa Claus, Several from the Elf, including this two-pack vinyl, which vinyl is not a product that Funko makes anymore, but we did come across that. Um, the Narwhal from Elf is probably my favorite, um, but of course, all of the Buddy the Elf Funko Pops. We, we, I don't know if we have them all. Uh, we have five there. That should be all. <laughs> I hope that's all. Um, but we absolutely love Elf, so we had to get some of those for our Christmas collection. Now the next sections are dedicated to some of our favorite shows and this section right here is all the Big Bang Theory. So for me, Big Bang Theory, Friends, and I Love Lucy are my top three favorite sitcoms ever. So I do have um, all of the characters um, in one line, so a set, but then I also have them in their costumes whenever they go to Comic-Con or maybe it was a, ha maybe it was a Halloween episode. I'm blanking. It's been a while since I've seen it, but this is all of the Big Bang Theory Funko Pops that we have in our collection. And no, I can't choose a favorite. I love them all. Next, we have some more favorite shows that we have multiple Funko Pops of. So Alias was one of my favorite shows when I was a teenager or uh, a young adult, I guess. Um, I absolutely love it. We do have the chase of Gunther, but we decided to keep him in box, so he's up here. And we also have four from Orange is, is the New Black. I think we're only missing Piper from this set. We might be, there might be six in this set, but we only have four. And I know Piper is one for sure that we are missing, but definitely love those shows. And then the last section that we have here are my I Love Lucy Pops. So we have Lucy Factory in black and white and in color. We have Ricky 
and then we have just Lucy in black and white and in color. So my personal favorites are the black and white pops uh, for this show because that's just classic to me. I'm not a fan of the colorization of the show, but I definitely had to grab them whenever I found them. And then right underneath our TV, we have this uh, Danny with Binks Spirit Halloween Funko Pop. We just haven't found a place for it yet. And then we have all of our friends in Funko Pop pin form. So we have them in groups of two. Absolutely love friends. So the pop pins were a must. Then we also have the pop pin of Roz from Monsters, Inc. And then the most amazing piece, I think, in this whole room is Elliot uh, with E.T. Flying across the moon. The moon does glow, which is a really cool touch. Then again, because this is the movie room, we have Gizmo in car and Elvira on couch, as well as some other really cool uh, Funko Pops. So we have uh, two from Big, one on the piano, one of the actual machine, and then two more. These we got out of box, so we do have them on display, but they are from The Hunger Games. Um, so yeah, they just go right there. And then randomly we have our 10 inch Kool-Aid man down here. Why he's in the media room, I don't know, but he is so cool and I really like him. And I think whenever I see him, I think of the commercial, which is on TV, which would make sense for the media room, I think. And then our biggest section, I think is our Funko Pop soda displays. So we do have some sodas as well as actual Funko Pops in here. So the tops of these are a little crowded because all of the sodas are supposed to be in the case, not on top of them. But just to do a quick run through, we have done a few tours of our soda collection. So if you want to get a closer look, find out which ones are the chases. We did just do one recently, I think in January. So you can check that out if you want a closer look at all of those by themselves. Then moving on, we have some more movie and TV show media type pops. So we have the four of Grey's Anatomy, some sodas that are out of room, <laughs> Edward Scissorhands, and some more sodas that we need room for, and our Beetlejuice pops. And our next soda case has all of these sodas in it. Again, this is completely filled, which is why we have some random sodas just on top. But um, again, I have done separate videos on these uh, sodas and pointed out which ones were the chases, but they are really, really stuffed in there. On top of the next soda case are our Funko Paka Pacas. We love dogs. We have several dogs of our own and them and these little Daisy Dukes are just so cute. So we had to get a full case and open them on our channel. Um, but we have nowhere really to put them. So we just have them on display on top of our soda case. And then here are even more sodas <laughs> that don't fit inside the cases right now. We do need more shelves that will be coming soon, but we do have some really awesome sodas that are on display, even though they're not in the case where they belong. The next soda case really contains ad icons and like cartoony type characters and just, just well-known characters as well. So here's a lot of our ad icons. Again, with that Chase Twinkie soda, I don't get it, but okay, not a fan, but really, really fun sodas. And then of course our Freddy Funkos. On top of our last soda case, we have our Hamilton collection. So we have every single Funko Pop that has been made for Hamilton, the musical uh, of the original cast. And we do kind of have them just kind of, you know, spread out on top of a case. It fits perfectly on top of the soda case like it goes end to end which is really really cool and of course king george has to be front and center like always and then the last soda case has some uh, more sodas again they are stuck to the brim um i think my favorite soda though in here is this guy the skeleton guy i forget what his name is is it is, that's skeletor so who's that I forget which what, what his name is or where he's even from but we saw it we had to have it it is just the common um, but again, if you want to see which ones are the chases and kind of go through those separately, there is another video on our channel. Um, but again, another case that is full and even our overflow of Disney sodas made it into this case when it really shouldn't be. But um, yeah, I think that is all of the Funko products that we have in our media room. So just to give you kind of an overview, so we that is where a lot of the uh, standalone items are that are out of box. 
And then our wall of Funko Pops and sodas and some Paka Pakas. So we have quite a bit in here, but most of them fit with the media type theme, which is why we decided to put their collections in this room. So we have a Harry Potter guest room with some Funko Pops here. We have three. This was an ECC exclusive three pack from a few years ago. So we had to have those for our room. Next are some Funko exclusives that we decided to put on display, but keep in box. So we have Tonks, Buckbeak Flocked with the yellow or orange eyes, uh, Flocked Fox, and Flocked Hedwig. On our pin board, we do have the Luna Love Good Funko Pop pin, one of our newest pins that we've added here, and we love it. This shelf is a lot of Funko Pops, and then the smaller ones in front are from a Funko Pop advent calendar with a whole bunch of like little, I don't wanna say they're mystery minis, they're a little bit smaller than minis, but they are from a Funko advent calendar. Here we have Ron riding the chess piece, of course, classic. We have a Funko Pop of Hedwig, two rock candies, and I really love rock candies. I'm so sad they don't make them anymore. We have two more rock candies back there, a mystery mini, and then another Harry Potter Funko Pop. Here are even more Funko Pops and the advent calendar mystery minis from Funko. And technically this pin set is Loungefly, so it's Funko related. The next shelf has even more Funko Pops of Harry Potter. We don't uh, collect every single one, but whenever we see one that we absolutely love, we definitely add it to our collection and add it to this room. A little higher up, actually directly above our Harry Potter bed, we have this shelf with um, the two pack Funko door, or Funko vinyls, I'm sorry, vinyls of Her uh, Hermione and Ron, and then a couple of Funko Pops as well. The next shelf has a Dementor Funko Pop um, and some just really weird, kind of spooky. We try to keep those together. Here we have another three pack of Funko Pops of Ron, Harry, and Hermione um, in class with the Mandrix. And then of course, Hagrid. Here is a shelf that we keep the teachers on or the professors, you know, of the, the staff of Hogwarts. Um, so we have them all there and uh, I love them all. I really do. I think they look so cool. I love this 10 inch of Hedwig all by himself. It just looks really cool. I love, I, I just, I love it. He's like looking over the entire room. Here we have more teachers and staff as Funko Pops. These two are mystery minis and then these little bitty ones are also from that advent calendar that I talked about before. Absolutely love having like the staff together. It just looks really nice. Then on this side, we have three Patronus Funko Pops of Harry, Ron, and Hermione. We have uh, Moaning Myrtle, and then two, uh, Peter Pettigrew and Sirius Black as well. We just kind of grouped them together. I don't know why, but they look kind of cool. And then on top of one of the dressers in here, we do have the 10-inch Dumbledore with Fox, a Fox Funko Pop, um, a ghost. I think that's nearly Headless Nick. And then we have one from... Not Harry Potter, from the next series, Fantastic Beasts, I believe. The 10 inch Dobby, 10 inch Voldemort with his Ballisk. Yeah, like, <laughs> I love the 10 inch ones. I think for Harry Potter especially, they, they just look really cool. So just a quick overview of all of the Harry Potter items that we have in our Harry Potter guest room and a lot of Funko products as well, so. Definitely love this, and we love adding new stuff to this room as much as we can. Now, in our bedroom, we actually have some Funko pins. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to find them all, but I'm gonna try to find the Funko Pop pins. So there is one of Woody, and then the sticker that came in the Halloween box from Amazon. Then, of course, we also have Buzz Funko Pop pin as well. And of course, we have the three hitchhikers of the Funko Pop pins. This one lives on Donna's Haunted Mansion pin board. There's, <laughs> there's Madame Leota Funko pin. Um, but yeah, a lot of Funko pins in our collections. We also have Mike Wazowski as a Funko Pop pin, which is so cute because it's a big pin, but he's such a little guy. Um, but yeah, we definitely have that one in our Mike Wazowski pin collection. And I cannot forget our Paka Pakas. So this is Boo Hollow. Um, all of these guys on the risers on the first and second row. Um, we have a couple of Funko Pops, I guess, of the Boo Hollow characters. Um, 
So yeah, these actually got moved into our bedroom, so I totally forgot to film them for you. But yes, these are our Funko Paka Pakas, and even we have a cute little plush. How cute is that? These are also Funko products that are in our collection. Now I'm sure we have more Funko Pop pin or Funko pins in our pin collection, but the Funko Pop pins are easier to spot. And then the last items that we have uh, Funko products in our entire collection is on this shelf. I do have my favorite Frozen Funko Pops on here. Um, now the Rock Giant, that's actually the mystery mini, which I think is so funny. He's almost as tall as the Olaf and Bruni Funko Pop. We also have Elsa riding the water knock, Queen Anna, and then Elsa when she trans transforms or slash, in my opinion, dies at the end of Frozen 2. So I believe that is all the Funko Pop or all the Funko products in our entire collection. So what's funny is in this collection, I always forget about the, the Funko Pops in our media room that are on display underneath the TV. Yeah. Like some of our coolest pops are there. I love the big um, with the piano. I love that movie moment. I love the Elvira one. I love the... Um, well, the E.T. The e. with the one. moon oh. behind him is yeah. super cool. Yeah, some of our really cool ones that aren't super pricey, that aren't worth a whole lot, we do take those out of boxes. Yeah, and then we've got the whole series of the Friends uh, Pop Pins. Yes, and I totally forgot about those Funko Pop Pins. So, a bunch of just really fun Funko items. And like I said, we did keep these collections to the media room because they are movie and TV show related. So yeah, I, I, I am very, I, I love looking at our media room collections because they're just so fun. Well, what's your favorite so one in the Harry Potter room? Um, probably, oh gosh, Moaning Myrtle. Yeah, I like Moaning, Moaning Myrtle. Myrtle. But I also like the, the big ones yeah, over there. Yeah, the 10 inch ones. Yeah, yeah, like the 10 inch Dobby. That's I don't know, super the, cool. The Hedwig looks amazing up on the wall. Like, yeah. I love our Harry Potter pops. I love our Harry Potter guest room. But leave a comment down below. Let us know if you have any of these same pops or if you collect any of these same collections like the, the movies or the TV shows or maybe Harry Potter. Potter. Let us know. But that is going to do it for this entire Funko collection Are video tired? series. It was a lot, but I hope breaking it out into four parts made it a lot more manageable. Digestible. Yes. A little bit different than what we did the last time we did a collection video. So hopefully it worked out well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.